Welcome to this video. Over the next few minutes, we will describe the Canadian payroll changes included in the January 1, 2022 payroll update for Sage 300. To use this product, you must have Sage 300 Canadian Payroll 7.3, which is supported in Sage 300 2022, 2021, 2020, and 2019. Let's have a look at the improvements for Canadian payroll. You can now set up taxes to be included for employees by default when you create new employee records. To do this for Canadian payroll, you must specify settings on the Payroll Income Taxes screen. On the Basic Info tab, select the Include for Employees by Default option. Then, on the GL Distribution tab, specify Yes in the default field for a distribution code. Note that you must specify these settings even if there is only one distribution code for the tax. On the Calculate Payroll screen, you can now save your settings so that they can be used by default the next time you open the screen. To save your settings, click Save Settings as Default on the Settings menu at the top of the Calculate Payroll screen. You can also clear your save settings by clicking Clear Save Settings on the same menu. After calculating payroll, an improved Process Completed message appears which allows you to print a report of payroll processing exceptions and open the pre-check payroll register screen directly instead of having to open the screen from the desktop. A new comments tab has been added to the payroll employee screen. You can now add comments on the employee record similar to the comments tab that is available in the AP vendors and AR customer screens. To set up the follow-up date for the comment, from the Payroll Options screen on the Processing tab, enter the default number of days for follow-up on the employee comments. Also, the Payroll Employee Information Report now includes an option to include comments in this report. On T4A Forms, each of the supported types of Other Information Earnings is now reported in its own box. By default, all existing Other Information Earnings are set up to be reported in box 028, Other Income. If you have Other Information Earnings that should be reported in other boxes, you must set up these earnings by specifying the correct box in a new box field on the Earnings and Deduction screen. The new field appears only if you select T4A, Other Information, in the T4, T4A reporting field. When creating a new employee record from the Payroll Employee screen on the Class Code and Schedules tab, the employee's province of employment is no longer set by default. This reduces the chance of creating an employee record with an incorrect province of employment. You can now generate more than 850 records of employment in a single day. Previously, the limit was 100. Note that the first 100 Record of Employment files are numbered 00 to 99. Subsequent Record of Employment files include letters A0, A1, and so on, up to ZZ. For more information about this payroll update, including preparing for year-end processing, product update installation instructions, and more, please review the release notes. Congratulations! You now know what's included in the January 1, 2022 Canadian Payroll Update for Sage 300.